Hi, welcome to Central News for Wednesday the 14th of September. I'm Katrina McKinley. In today's news, the Claude Lynn's Events Centre is getting ready to host the Health and Disability Expo. Amanda Harper has the story. This Friday and Saturday, the Health and Disability Expo descends on Claudin's Event Centre, featuring everything from rock climbing to a giant Rubik's Cube. Volunteer organiser Emily explains why this event is important to all people of Waikato. Well, at, everyone's, at some point in everyone's life, they're going to have to engage with health services, whether they have a disability or not. It might not necessarily be themselves, but someone close to them might have a health condition or they will know someone with a disability because 20% of people in their lifetime are affected by disabilities. So it's not necessarily a now factor, but it's at some point in your life you're going to engage with health services. So okay. the expo provides a way to get that information before you need it. Be sure to head along and for the full interview, watch Central News tomorrow night. The Department of Conservation is encouraging Tauranga residents to celebrate Wildlife This Conservation Week which began on Monday until Sunday. Department of Conservation Director General Al Morrison says a range of events are planned in the Western Bay of Plenty. An ecological tour of Makatu Harbour takes place this Saturday with a forest and bird trip to Te Aroha also planned for Sunday. Al says other events will come and go but the enduring significance of conservation will be there long after the crowds have dispersed. To find out more information on Conservation Week, head to the website conservationweek.org.nz. Two seasoned game developers from the University of Waikato have brought to life a cheeky little puffer fish to encourage children with asthma to manage their condition while staying healthy and active. Sam Sargent and Dick Kradini, both PhD students in the Faculty of Computing and Mathematical Sciences, have created a computer game and an online colouring activity featuring Sailor the Puffer Fish for Asthma Waikato. Business manager for Asthma Waikato, Vicky Blundell, says the initiative is all about educating and supporting kids so they can take control of their asthma rather than letting it control them. The games are being distributed to schools and will be formally launched on Friday. Now for our region's weather. Strong winds across the regions today. The winds are not looking to ease for your Thursday. Hamilton can expect showers to increase throughout the day with a high of 15 and low of 8. Tauranga has fine spells with a high of 17 and a low of 8. Coming up after the break, we have a familiar face for you. Amy Pollard tells us of the Rugby World Cup pantomime tour she has been doing. Amanda chats with a para black before she is enlightened to the true essence of beauty pageants and not what you see in America. Join me after the break.